Hello, and I hope that you're doing well. Today I'm going to talk to you about sharpening a karambit knife. A very popular knife in the Philippines. Several martial arts actually focus on utilizing a karambit. And lately I had gotten some questions posed to me from subscribers and members asking me about how to sharpen a karambit. Now a lot of times these self-defense blades or blades that are meant more for self-defense don't usually need too much sharpening because they're kind of carried just in case something happens, not really something that's being used functionally on a daily basis, so it doesn't get as beat up. But as far as my training and members that I train with, we tend to utilize a live blade as part of our training every once in a while because I feel that if you choose to uh, carry this type of blade for you, especially for self-defense, the more experience that you have with it, the better that you're going to bode. And one of the best ways to get that experience is to set up a system. A lot of times we'll use rope or use cardboard and actually use the live blade in a very safe manner in order to get and hone the movements down so that if something were to happen and unfortunately you'd have to utilize the uh, blade that you're carrying with you in a self-defense situation, you'll be that much more prepared. You have rehearsed with it, you have practiced with it, it has become part of you. And by utilizing these rope type systems and even cardboard, you're actually getting feedback. So you're not just throwing these different angles in the air, uh, which is also a great way to train, but you also need that feedback. You need to know what it's going to feel like once that blade does actually make contact. Well, with that type of training, the blade actually gets dull. And uh, nothing crazy, I could still use my uh, higher grit stones to put the perfect razor edge back on the blade and it doesn't take too much time but at the same time of course i always want my blades to be sharp so today i'm going to go into sharpening this karambit blade and the reason why it's a little bit different it's shaped differently has the c-type shaped uh shape curved blade and uh, also mimics a lot of carpentry type knives and then carpet type knives so the same application that i'm using here for the karambit would also serve you well and serves me well on these other type of curved blades that uh, would get much more use as I said whether you're cutting up carpet. So I went ahead and set up my karambit. I'm not going to get into too much detail about the sharpening process. I've made other videos where I go into a lot more detail. If you're interested in seeing those I will link them in the description as well as pin them in the comments field below. So if you want more information be sure to check that out. So as far as the karambit since it is small and a relatively short blade uh, what I did is I put it as high as I possibly can on here using the uh, the Wicked Edge system. And I also have it flat. So from the tip to the back, trying to get it as flat as possible to make the sharpening process that much easier. You don't have that much room to work with, but it's still relatively simple to get the job done. So utilizing my Sharpie, I found the proper angle, set up the angle on both sides. Got my stones out, and as I mentioned, I'm going with the higher stones. So I'm going to go from 1,500 to 2,200 to 3,000, and that should be more than enough to get that razor edge that I'm looking for on this karambit knife. Okay, so I'm ready to get started here. I'm going to start out with the 1,500 grit stone. And I want you to keep in mind that Wicked Edge does recommend that the stroke that you use should be down and away. So I like starting out with my stones nice and high, gripping towards the back, keeping my fingers out of the way. And then nice, simple, easy strokes going down and away. Okay, feeling pretty good there. Starting to get that razor edge. Switch over to the 2200. go at this point it's pretty much good to go as it is but since I do have the 3,000 stones here I'm gonna give a couple passes with them and I think we are good to go I have a little piece of paracord here just to show you the sharpness and as I just rub it across Barely any pressure, just rubbing it across. Good to go. Razor sharp. 
exactly what I always expect from Wicked Edge sharpeners. So bottom line, if you do own some karambits or other curved blades and are looking for a great way and efficient way to get the blades razor sharp, definitely take a look at the Wicked Edge knife sharpening systems.